Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will talk about how to solve rational equations. First, let's talk about what a rational expression is because they make up rational equations. A rational expression is a fraction in which the denominator is a polynomial. Simple enough. Now let's talk about how to solve rational equations. First, we factor all the denominators. This helps us find the LCD, the lowest common denominator, and brings us to the next step. We multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. Next, we solve for x. And lastly, we check the solutions by plugging them into the LCD. If it equals 0, then it's not a solution. It is considered an extraneous solution. Now let's see some examples. Here's our first example. We have x minus 6 over x equals negative 5. First, we don't need to factor the denominator because it is just x. Next, we find the LCD. Because there is only one denominator, the LCD is it. So the LCD is x. Now we multiply both sides of the equation by x. This simplifies to x squared minus 6 equals negative 5x. We move 5 to the other side. Now we have a quadratic equation and can solve for x. We factor and get x minus 1 times x plus 6 equals 0. So we get x equals 1 and x equals negative 6. Now we check to see if any of the solutions are extraneous. Because the LCD is x, as long as x does not equal 0, then it is a solution. So this is our answer. Next example, we have x equals 5x plus 4 over 2x plus 3. We do not need to factor the denominator because it is in its simplest form. We know the LCD is 2x plus 3 because there is only one denominator. We multiply both sides of the equation by 2x plus 3. We simplify this and it equals 2x squared plus 3x equals 5x plus plus 4. We move 5x plus 4 over to the other side of the equation. This equals 2x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals 0. We now have a quadratic equation and we can factor this and get x minus 2 times x plus 1. Now we solve for x and get x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. Now we have to check to see if we have any extraneous solutions. We plug 2 into the LCD and it equals 7, so that solution is good. Now we plug negative 1 into the LCD and it equals 1, so that solution is good. So this is our answer. Last example. We have x over x minus 8 plus 6 over x minus 2 equals x squared over x squared minus 10x plus 16. First, we factor the denominators. Next, we find the LCD, which is x minus 8 times x minus 2. Now we multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. This simplifies to x times x minus 2 plus 6 times x minus 8 equals x squared. We simplify this again and get x squared minus 2x plus 6x minus 48 equals x squared. We simplify one more time and move x squared over to the other side. Now we get 4x minus 48 equals 0. We solve for x and get x equals 12. Now we plug 12 into the LCD to make sure it is not extraneous. It equals 40, so this is our solution. For more help on this topic or for more practice problems, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.